We are continuing our coverage from CPAC 2018. Joining me now is none other than a guy who seems to pretty much sleep here all year, Kurt Schlechter. <laughs> You're always here. I, get, I, I could have gotten here three weeks ago. You'd have been here. I, you know, that's not quite true. But while CPAC's going on, look, this is my Woodstock. It is. You said you, it's your Coachella. It's my Coachella. It's like Burning Man for people with jobs and intelligence. <laughs> We're, we're, we're going to burn a giant liberal out front. We're going to burn an effigy. Did, did you hear them uh, shouting uh, burn her to uh, Dana Lash as she left the uh, you know, I was, witch we were, burning yesterday? We were talking about that. that. So was it, was, it was terrible. There was the event, CNN event in South Florida. Yeah, hard to believe that CNN turned into a bunch of garbage. And, and you and I were talking to some people who were there uh, at the event, conservatives, who literally, and I don't think they were being dramatic, I think they were being honest, were concerned for their own safety. Yes. That's a problem. Yes, and I and, and these folks can take care of themselves. These are not right. shrinking violence. These are not wallflower shrinking violence. These are not right. George Will conservatives. These right. are punch in the face conservatives. These aren't Fredo cons. Yeah, and no Fredo cons. But, but have you seen any Fredo cons? I have not seen any Fredo Anybody uh, uh, pushing cruises or anything like that? Nobody pushing cruises. No shuffleboard tournaments from oh. the neocons. But uh, going back to the CNN event last night in Florida, in South Florida, it's troubling that CNN would invite prominent conservatives and then not provide them adequate security. There's, that to me seems somewhat by design. I think, um, I think it's all part of the package. I think that, they, that CNN uh, wanted to whip up uh, a lot of hatred and didn't care about the consequences. Yep, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. And, and you know, I tweeted something out yesterday. Concern, we never seem to see, after any tragedy, we never seem to see the children of conservatives. We never seem to see the NRA handing kids talking points. We don't see people on the right politicizing the tragedy. Uh, that's, that's entirely true. The, the thing that I feel better about, about all this, is I think that we are woke, woke. We better get there. To the scam. Yeah. I true. don't think it's working. I don't think there's any change among normal Americans about their right to keep and bear arms. Uh, because of all this stuff. I think we see very clearly that it's uh, not a good faith argument. It's emotional manipulation designed to bum rush us into giving up our rights. And it's yep. not going to happen. You know what's interesting? Uh, I, had, uh, I had spoken a little bit earlier to a woman from in Independent Women's Forum, head of, their head of uh, policy. And I expected, when I asked her about gun control and self-defense and public safety, I expected their membership the groups they surveyed to be lean left? She said, no, they're, they're as concerned about it as everybody else and they're not willing to give up their rights. That really contradicts the narrative that CNN, MSNBC, The Washington Post, The New York Times is selling us that all women want to grab every gun and they want those guns burned in a furnace. I've got somebody from the, in, these weren't conservative women, this is the independent women for it. Independent and non-party affiliated women voters who are saying, no, you're not going to take my right to self-defense away. See, the... The thing is, the Washington Post, the New York Times, CNN, it's really an echo chamber. It is. They're really talking to themselves, and they're very impressed by what they're doing. And I don't think it's resonating. No one watches uh, CNN. No one who's not liberal uh, or, right. or who has to for, doesn't have to for a job reads the Post or the New York Times. Well, that's right. And if you stock a pond with fish that have been hand-fed, don't be shocked when they rise to the surface and eat out of your hand. I mean, this isn't... Yeah, really, this isn't complex media analysis here. CNN stocked an arena full of people with ideologically like-minded ones. Yeah, and got they well, they got the reaction they desired. I mean, Marco Rubio is as milk toast as it gets, and they treated Marco Rubio as if he was Wayne LaPierre. Yep, and really, really well, I mean, the problem with Marco Rubio is he's a simpering wuss. You know, he, he, he's one of those idiots who doesn't understand. I'm using the word idiot because he does stupid things. He doesn't understand what's going on. They do not have a conversation. They are advocates. That's right. So when you walk in and say, let's have a conversation about guns, and you walk in ready to have a conversation, I'll give, we'll take, we'll discuss the fact and change our views, and you're against someone who's an advocate, you're going to lose. Marco Rubio is a dumb man. Right, he, should have they, know, they, he should have known exactly what is going right. in. Their starting point isn't a conversation. Their starting point is, we have a starting point and an ending point, we want your guns. Yeah, we have a goal. We have a goal. And 
Marco Rubio. Well, I'd like to work together to find. Shut up! They'll never. They'll never work with. Shut up! They'll it's never, stupid. Never they don't want to work together. This is about power. Right. They want power over us. They want and to take our weapons. They want us that's disarmed, and they want us to acquiesce to whatever they do. That is their goal. So there's, they're, they're not here to discuss. They're here to argue. That's why they're using emotional manipulation and abuse and threats. You know, you and I were, were I was talking about a conversation that we had heard earlier today. And uh, I was talking about it with Amanda Head a little while ago. And it was that conservatives don't turn out high quality entertainment projects. That's true. Why do you think that is? Um, first of all, there aren't a lot of conservatives in the industry. I don't think... I don't think that being conservative somehow keeps you out of the industry. It's just a very liberal industry, and I know conservatives in, and they do have to keep their heads down. Right. Um, I think when you get into those circles, like publishing and stuff, there's a tremendous amount of pressure to conform. Yeah. You want to be accepted into that world. It's easy to do with your politics. Why, why create uh, right. another barrier? And they're very high-paying jobs. Some of these people are making eight-figure bonuses. If yeah. things go well in the studios, you and I would never be senior executives at MGM. Yeah, it's just not, yeah, it's not, it's not in that world. Uh, it really, really is. No, uh, you. The other thing is, I mean, doesn't uh, technology's changing things? Look at this setup we have here. That's very true. Uh, it used to be to have uh, to broadcast like this, you needed a giant crew and a ton of stuff, and you really don't now. You, no. you still can. The NRA news st uh, setup over there is very, very elaborate with a lot of people. Right. But we're getting the same pro a, a, a we're turning out the product. We're turning the product with half the staff. And yeah, half the uh, and it's very true. It, yeah, it's not the it's For not the same the cost. Right. It, it's not the same uh, uh, broadcast quality style that it is, but it, it, it's a good enough product. It is a good enough product, and I think. It, but there's also something to be said for flexibility. Well, that's true. That, there is flexible. On the fly. That's I mean, th that's the thing. Technology is allowing the flexibility right. for other people to get into the game. You, everybody has Direct TV. You know the problem. You're at home Friday. You don't want to go anywhere. Let's watch some on Direct TV. That's right. And you have five million uh, Direct Video movies, none of which you've ever heard of, and you can't choose which one. Or you go to Netflix or Amazon Prime, or, and you've got five million more you've and, never heard and, of. And the same which thing. You have options. And, but who's making them? People with one. One one hundredth the cost of what it used to do to do it on film. You that's do it on you do it on video now. Well, that's why CNN, the Washington Post, and the New York Times. Well, yeah. No longer have a monopoly. Kurt Schlichter, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for having me. You got it, my friend. For all of your CPAC 2018 coverage, stay tuned to the Rebel, and don't forget to subscribe to our premium service at www.therebel.media/shows and go to your app store. Check out the Rebel app.